Nikita, don't worry about it. Babylon will feel like he's at a health resort here. We have a veterinarian, a diplomat, and a specialist. Yeah, yeah, let's discuss it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Vera, I've ordered cottage cheese in the village. The lady is so tidy, and the cow is so well kept. Mom, fermented dairy makes me sick, I told you. The key point is that everyone and everything makes you sick. Alyssa. Mom, don't strain yourself. Alyssa's always been that way to me. Dear ladies, stop fighting. We're actually having breakfast here. Not hearing about stables. Nikita, my friend, I'll call you back. Later. <sighs> yes, we'll talk soon. Mm-hmm. Vera? My dear, the stables actually support us. What's more, I don't see anything wrong with talking about horses during our breakfast. Right, sweetheart? Right. It's better than sickness talk. <clears throat> well, thank you for the breakfast. Enjoy and sorrow. Fear. Alyssa, your mother's not in a very good mood today. I was just trying to change the subject. <laughs> Is it so impossible to put a cup away so it doesn't break? Now that's a nice country morning. I better get going or I'll be late. Do you need a ride? No, thanks. Manka's picking me up. What's this Manka? Why call her Manka? <clears throat> Maria is such a beautiful name. Uh, moreover, you're young girls. Grandma, Manka is a guy's name. You get it? Mott B. Manka for short. That's their slang. Alyssa, my brother is coming today. Are you going to meet him with me? Dad, how could I miss the event of the year? I'm interested in getting to meet him, too. Why do you have to be sarcastic all the time? Just like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go make peace with my wife. Vera. Wow. What's this, Vera? The salesman told me that this toy relaxes the nerves. Part one. Does it? Vera, come on, smile already. The doctor said you should smile once in a while. The doctor said to calm my nerves. You all agreed with him. I've gotten used to Alyssa already. Couldn't you speak to your customer later? Vera, Vera, my dear, I shouldn't have to explain. Customers are like children, and each one requires a personal approach towards his horse. And what's more, that denim guy, he promised me Babylon. He's a good customer. I need to work with him. And I'm a good wife. I sit inside these walls and bear your children. <sighs> Vera. Come on. Remember. We decided to have a baby together. Before that, we were divorcing. Well, that's true. Yes, we were. Then we changed our minds. We decided to wait for the little one. We'll have a big, friendly family, all right? Just the way we agreed to. All right. Sorry, it's nerves. Your brother and his wife are coming. I'm giving birth soon with a house full of guests. Oh, we're family. We'll cope. What is it they don't know? What is it that we don't know? Hmm? Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm off to work. Don't you look at me. Nasty, I'm actually working. <laughs> you know, I'm actually completely free. I've been flirting with you for two weeks, but you, you're not responding at all. Will you give in? Hmm? Uh. 
Hey, lady. The bus just left, and the next one's not coming for a half an hour. Can I give you a lift? Oh, all right. I wouldn't want to be late for my lecture. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a crazy one, huh? That's what you like, yeah. huh? The pure adrenaline, but I'm still pretty good looking too, aren't I? <clears throat> well, you know, I'm not so young anymore. I just want a little more romance and less of the extreme. <laughs> you want to play grandpa and granddaughter? Okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, where do you get it from? Well, <laughs> dad says it's from my mom, mom says it's from my dad, and grandma has abstained. <laughs> <laughs> So, so when will we go to Prague for the weekend? Oh, how about next week, as we agreed? Do you know when you're gonna tell, uh, your family? Mm, I'll start tonight. There'll be a lot of witnesses. My uncle and his wife will be there as well, so... Oh, you're a real actress now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. All right, so the usual? A quarter mile away? Uh, yeah. Hide and seek heightens the feelings. You have feelings for me? <laughs> oh, my darling. <laughs> Look here. Gabbit. Gabbit, come over here. Come over here. Here. Actually, at first, we wanted a veterinary clinic. We'd been dreaming of it since college. Then we realized that this business would make more. Actually, Ivan's got a brilliant mind. Take this. Mm -hmm. We had no clean stalls or horses before. And he was the first to open that. Come on. I can see you're not happy. No, why? I'm doing what I love to do. Come over here. As an apprentice? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. How's Babylon doing? He's fine. Mm. Nastia, what are you doing here? Vera was looking for you. On my way. <laughs> Misha, it looks like you don't understand. I'll try to explain it. Babylon is not gold. He's platinum. His owner is leaving him with us for half a year, and this is our chance. As you know, we're not doing great now. And this horse is our chance to leave. You understand? And you're acting up for some reason. What did you say to the owner? about peat bogs, about smog, about dry grass. Why did you do that? Do you want him to back off? He will take the horse back from us. I told him the truth. We nearly lost all of the horses back then. Man, when did you become so hung up on the truth? Well, it's your call. You're going to spend your whole life pitching manure. You haven't worn that in almost a year. Vera, what are you doing? Ivan is pure gold. He loves you, Alyssa and me too. He provides for us, he earns money. And you're fooling around. What else do you need? Love and understanding. I don't love him, and I never really did. I thought I'd get used to it. But now it's become unbearable. <gasps> Almost all families live like this. They're all right. You just don't love anyone. You're an egotist. You didn't give me a heads up. <sighs> Slava. 
What can I do? I'm telling you. Stick around for a couple of months. We have problems now. I'll take you back on later. But I've got a mortgage. I have a wife and a kid. I have a wife and a kid too, Slava. Does that mean I pay you with my own money or what? Well, yeah, No, but... I can't, Slava. You need to understand. I'm telling you once again. Stick around for a couple of months or go find another job. Excuse me. Man, you're tough. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. And what else can I do? I'd keep him if I could. Do I also need to look for a job? No. <laughs> you're a Class A professional. We couldn't do anything without you. And I am flattered. <clears throat> and you won't cut my salary, right? You want that? No problem. No, I don't. Uh, why are you here? I thought you were having guests. Well, Vera this morning, well, it's not that simple. She started freaking out. Mm, oh, hang in there, man. There's another month left. So this evening is on. Tell me, you coming alone or with another girlfriend? Well, you know that I'm lonely now. Mm, how long? <laughs> You've been working shifts since college. You're two days lonely and two days married. Don't be jealous, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's work on this, huh? Instead. <laughs> Alyssa! Hey, Alyssa, hold on a second. All right, go on. We had arranged to meet in the cafe. I was late. You could have called. My phone died. Oops. It recharged. Gadgets are so smart these days. Soon they'll enslave us. Alyssa, you were the one who wanted to talk to me about something. Well, yeah. It's a big deal. I need an alibi. A what? Shame on you, future lawyer, not knowing what an alibi is. It's a term often used in criminal no, law No, Alyssa, I know what it is. I just don't know why you need one. I will speak only in the presence of my lawyer. All right, then. How about tonight in the cafe, maybe? Nah, I don't eat after six. Let's talk in the canteen, though, hmm? All right. <laughs> I'll wait at the door. Come here. All right. Oh, uh, there. Yes, eat. Hello there. Mm. Vera, you're here. I'm surprised. I didn't expect <laughs> it. And why not? You haven't come in the last eight months. The smell here makes you sick. I just wanted to talk to you. There's no need. I'm boring. Now come on, Misha. I'm feeling bad. And whose fault is that, Vera? Mine. It's my fault. I botched it. And didn't leave him. Now I'm expecting his baby. Should I hang myself now? <laughs> oh. All right, I'm leaving. I... Wanted to ask you, why didn't you leave when you learned that I was pregnant? Why did you stick around then? That's a good question. I will fire you if I don't see you at your workplace during working hours. What's that music? What's that? What are you listening to? Dad. Mm. If you want to talk, just tell me. You know you wouldn't appreciate my music anyway. I sure wouldn't. 
Listen, Alyssa, you should be gentler with your mother. She's in a delicate condition. You should understand. Dad, she'll give birth to a son and he'll be gentle with her, but it's too late to teach me. I'm going through my awkward age. Seriously, I am. To me, it feels like you've been going through that since the, since the day you were born, sweetheart. I'm sorry to say that. Dad, just don't bother, please. You love her. And Grandma loves her. And as for me... <laughs> oh, here they are. <laughs> oh, wow. Brother. <laughs> Great to see you. Hello. Surprise. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the word, all right. <laughs> Let's go to the car. What a surprise. Three guests arrive instead of two. Alyssa, don't worry about it. It'll be another month before we start taking too much room. <laughs> really? Because we barely got you into the car as it is. Calm down, sweetheart. <laughs> You're on a roll today. No, really, why have you been hiding it like royal secret? <laughs> Marina didn't even tell me right away. <laughs> really? On your way to Moscow? <laughs> <laughs> what a character. Ivan, she's just like you. <sighs> That's right. To seeing you again, brother. Here are the meat pies. <laughs> I remember you cooked those meat pies for Ivan's wedding. Pass me one, please. Be careful with those meat pies. Mm. Mm. I'll lose weight later. Have you decided yet on the baby's name? No, thank you. Mm. <laughs> we haven't thought much about it. Oh, Marina, dear. <laughs> That's just a superstition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything will be fine. Just think about good things. <laughs> That's the truth. One for uh -huh. you. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Uncle Igor, mm -hmm. when you were a lot younger, did you and Dad ever swap girlfriends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You've just offended us in an instant. Ivan, we're not young anymore, as it turns out. No, we're not, Igor. Mm -hmm. Kostya, I've heard that you're going to your relatives next weekend. Yeah. I'm asking you, postpone the trip, please. A promising customer wants a deal. We need you. Uh, well, no. I'll postpone it, of course, since there's a new uh, customer. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Let's drink, huh? Shall we? I'll pass. <clears throat> Grant a meat pie, please. <clears throat> oh, wow. I don't buy anything. I believe the omens. I had three miscarriages. I'm silly. I won't let it out of my sight, really. Yes, you will. When you don't sleep for two nights, you will. I'm already stir-crazy sitting at home. Mm. I've even hired a nanny. I'll go back to work right away. Mm. Well, you've always been like that. Like what? Active. <sighs> Active. I don't mean anything by it, Vera. All right, just forget it. It's just these hormones. What a beauty. Hmm? <laughs> you used to dream about a veterinary clinic. Mm -hmm. I remember how Misha and you were talking about it all the time. Clinic, clinic. You see, brother, the clinic is a troublesome thing. It takes money and effort. This business brings in steady money. True, it's a bit tough now, but we'll manage, I'm sure. And we dream somehow, for later. Well, yeah, that's how it usually works. You think that you have time for childhood dreams, and then suddenly, bang, it's all passed you by. Igor. Hey, come on, look at me. Come on, look at me. What's going on? You can tell you are my brother. As it turns out, I'm ill. You came for treatment? You should have told me. 
I could have arranged it with our doctors. There's no use, Ivan. I have six months left. What's that? <sighs> the doctors won't even guarantee me that long. I've already made my peace with it. It was hard at first, but I'm okay. I'm dealing with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can't something be done? There's anything nothing. be done? <sighs> nothing. I haven't told anyone anything. I wanted to, but then I learned that you two were expecting, and Marina was already five months along. Look, okay, that's not the point. That's why I brought Marina here. Well, and to tell you this, you take care of her, please. She's a little anxious these days, you understand. She's open and very emotional. It'll be hard for her, and you've always been compassionate. I just don't have anyone else to leave her with, you know? Uh, I know. Yeah, that's all clear, brother, but hold on a second. Isn't it too early to be talking about all of this, huh? It's not too early. I want to buy a flat for Marina in the city. I've already sold our old one. She doesn't know, by the way. The money will be transferred to Marina's account. If something were to happen to me, help her register, would you, Ivan? And there is one more thing. I wrote her a letter. When it does happen, give it to her. I need you to. How is it, Igor? It's all right. Nastya, telephone. Oh, come on, it's nighttime now. Nastya, wait, mm. maybe something happened. Nastya. I'm asking you. There's other people. Let them deal with it. Marina, why are you out mm. here? Breathing the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, it's good to be here. To breathe and to smile, <laughs> to live. <sighs> Hello, ma'am. Hello. You're quite late, Nastia. It's my fault. Excuse me, please. I'm going to the kids' room. The delivery's coming. I'll sort it out. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you come yesterday? Hmm? Did someone invite me? Do you need an invitation? You're practically family. You made it clear who I am yesterday. <clears throat> oh, Misha. Hi. It's good that you're here. Look, I'm going away with my brother. I wanted to ask you to deal with the supplier, all right? Sure. Hmm? Hmm. Ivan! <sighs> what if I'm giving birth, but it's too early? <sighs> what happened? Marina, she's feeling ill. Mm. Mm. I'll call an ambulance. Why did you scream? Are you bleeding? No. Yeah, it's in Tonus. Look, maybe you had too many meat pies. She'll be all right. <sighs> Coffee. <sighs> Listen. I haven't canceled the appointment with a specialist. You still make it there. Go, I'll talk to the doctors and call you back right away. No. The main thing is Marina and her son. She's had this before. And then she's miscarried. Uh, no, don't say that. 
For a second, I imagined that it happened to Vera, then I just did everything to make Vera marry me. And now it feels like she never actually loved me at all. She gave birth to Alyssa. Now she'll bear your son. And you think she doesn't love you? I don't know. I'm no picnic either. I... And I've nearly left Vera, and it's all overlapping. Now is the time to try to fix it all. Who is Martinova's husband? I am. Your wife is all right, calm and colic. She had too many meat pies, as she said. <laughs> She's asleep now, but you can take her home in a couple of hours. <sighs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank Good you, luck. Doctor. We'll still make it to the specialist. Let's go. Come you on. think so? Let's go. And if the convict, through his exemplary behavior and honest attitude toward work, has proven he has reformed, he can be granted early release on parole. Have you all got that? I think it's a real pity that children can't be released from their parents on parole. Come on, your parents are cool. Mm-hmm. By the way, have you thought of an alibi yet? I'm not gonna lie. Not even for me? Especially not for you. You're hanging out with God knows who, and I should lie to your parents? What if something happens to you? <sighs> what would ever happen to me? I'm not dating a maniac, you know? Is that him? Mm-hmm. The murderous maniac. Hello, honey. Yeah, hello. Just wanted to say that we'll definitely be able to go in two weeks. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's so great. I love you. Oh, hold on a second. My mom's calling, okay? What, mom? What? I'm on my way, bye. And take care of your nerves. Try to do it for the baby. I don't know, doctor. It's been so many times. Look here. You just have to stop thinking about it. After all, a positive outlook is the best medicine. Now have a seat. By the way, who's coming for you? A dream. Oh, I'm not very good at these terms. Who is it? <laughs> it's my sister-in-law. Ah, I won't remember it anyway. Just wait for her. You can't stay alone now, all right? All right, thank good you very night. much. Goodbye. Oh, I barely found you. Hello. Why don't you answer your phone? I was so afraid that I didn't take it. Okay, how are you? <laughs> I'm definitely giving up meat pies. Mommies! <laughs> Hello there. Hello. I asked you to come as soon as your class ended. And I did come. I just didn't come by helicopter. All right, girls, don't fight. We are not fighting. This is how we converse. She only thinks of mm. herself. Mom, would you ask the doctor for some chill pills? Don't be rude. No, these are real double standards. She doesn't care much for me either. She didn't even come to my prom. I had a headache. Yeah, and you had one when I got a medal for winning the literary contest and the time when there was a parent's picnic. She only thinks about herself. Listen, I... I've heard that there will be some bad storms coming. Well, for myself, I could use a treat. An eclair, maybe. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, what would you like? <sighs> no, those who don't answer won't eat eclairs with me. I'm serious. Well, I'd prefer a Napoleon cake. <sighs> Straight to the cafe. I'll have an almond milk. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> No, it's just impossible. Specialists make mistakes too, by the way. Ivan, come on. Take it easy. I can't. I just can't understand how. I've already accepted it. Look, I'm nervous. It's Marina and our son I'm afraid for. How are they going to live? Igor, stop starting the song already. It's too early. You'll have a son, and then you'll change your mind about dying. As Grandma would say, it's too soon. 
You see, now you finally understand what Grandma meant. Everything is going to be all right. I'm with you. Don't you know that smoking is bad for you? I do. I don't actually smoke much, only when I feel like it. And I'm not gonna smoke near you, I'm not that big a monster. In fact, you're very nice and kind too. <laughs> I'm the worst nightmare in the family. <laughs> That's scientifically proven, backed up by facts. Not enough attention? I get more than enough attention. Especially from the boys, trust me. Well, I had actually noticed that... Meaning? Oh, you saw me with Kostya. Yeah, we've let our guard down lately. Why are you hiding? <laughs> well, he's almost as old as my father, his partner, so... Besides, everyone thinks he's a ladies' man. And you? I think I love him. Then tell your mother. Does she need that? I'm daddy's girl. And still I recommend that you tell your mother. You'll feel better, really. Well, all right. But only for you. <laughs> Nastya. Today's probably not gonna work for me. I have a lot of work. Trust me, yes. Didn't like her in bed, did you? Stop it, Vera. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> oh, everyone seems to know what suits me. I'm the only one who doesn't. That I can agree with. I've seen it. Happen. Have pity on me, then. I do pity you, Vera. I do. You told me that everything is over between us and I'm trying somehow to live my own life. But you're totally confused. Hm. You don't know what you want. But I know exactly what I don't want. I don't want this baby, Misha. I don't want it. Hello, Mom. <gasps> Alyssa! Alyssa, where are you running to? Alyssa, wait. I think it would be better for everyone if I go to bed instead of waiting. Alyssa. What happened this time? Trust me, Dad, you really don't want to know. Alyssa, shut up. No, you shut up. I'm sick of listening to you. Are you out of your mind talking to your mother that way? <laughs> no, dear, what's the I'm matter? Calling I'm calling the Call the doctor. Go on, get in the house. Keep breathing. Just keep breathing. Uh, Ivan. Yes, what is it, honey? Oh, forgive me, please forgive me. What for? There are things. <sighs> Calm down. Mm. We're going to be there soon. Are we almost there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Almost there, sir. I want to have this baby so much. Oh, God, I want to have my son so much. You will. Stop trying to hypnotize me. Alyssa, I have always been on your side. Before I nearly killed my mother. You bite your tongue, girl. Everything will be all right. Now tell me what you told her. I'll only answer to my father in the strictness of the law. You'll have to answer to your conscience, sweetheart. What's it to me? Ivan. Mm. How is she? 
They kept her in the hospital. They're going to perform a C-section. <sighs> Should I leave with all my things now? Alyssa. Inessa, listen. I'd like to ask you. Can Alyssa stay with you for a week? Mm-hmm. Will you live with Grandma? Yes, I will. All right, then. Get up. Let's go to bed now. Good night, you two. Good night, sweetheart. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Come on, let's go. How are you? Not good. Everyone is fighting. Vera is so nervous. Here's the result. I... I'm waiting for this baby so much, you understand? And... I'm nervous because of it all. My hand's shaking. You mustn't worry, Ivan. It'll be all right. You'll have a sound and healthy baby, and Alyssa will love him. She's just going through a hard time now. Mm. Thank you for that. It's a pity that for some reason we can't talk like human beings. <laughs> we'll have time to talk. Let's just leave here, right this minute. Where would you go when this is going on in your family? They don't care about me right now. Besides, they're sending me to Grandma's for a while. By the way, you still haven't really told me what happened. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm afraid to even remember it. <sighs> All right, don't do it then. No problem, no problem. Who is it? Uh, a client. <laughs> when are you leaving? Morning. <sighs> I'm not feeling very good. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that I'll die of boredom at Grandma's house. <sighs> You're not gonna die. I won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Look, I'm nervous. As if it were my own son. <laughs> When Marina gives birth, I'll be nervous too. Just let me worry for everyone. I can't let you do all the worrying. <laughs> Here they are. Hello, everyone. Hello. I Hello. knew you would come together. Hello, this is for you. Thank you, Ivan. Yes, allow me. Hello there. Where's Alyssa? Alyssa's with Grandma. She's coming very soon. So who do we look like, huh? Look, I'm sorry, but I think he looks like me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Igor, you're such a kidder. <laughs> Laugh in the morning. <laughs> that's right. I'll see them when the baby won't sleep for two nights. Well, that's all right then. All right, let's go to the car now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I'll drive. The rest of you, find a seat wherever you can. Goodbye now, and thank you. Why are you wrapping him up? The air conditioner will make him cold. <laughs> or he'll suffocate. <laughs> We'll deal with it. <laughs> Open the window. Give the baby some air. Look, Igor, you can give me advice when you have your own <laughs> child, all right? Boys, stop fighting. <laughs> Marina, are you all right? I'm all right. I feel less dizzy in the front seat. Hmm. I can see how all right you are. Sit here. Come on. You're all twisted there. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. At least I'll be closer to the baby. He's so beautiful.
Don't move now. You can't do that. You have a concussion. Actually, you're very lucky. Where are my wife and baby? Huh? Hmm. So, hello there. Can you hear me? Uh, what's your name? Ivan. Very good. My wife was there, and, and I had the baby in my hands. Where are they? Uh, your son's alive, and he's doing all right. He's in intensive care right now, but there's no threat to his life. And Igor, he was in the car, then it exploded. Where is he? Unfortunately, the man and the woman who were in the car, they didn't survive. What do you mean? Fear wasn't in the car. There were several people. Many of them were badly burned. You'll need to go through the process of identifying them. But that will be happening much later. Let's go now. I'm terribly sorry. I've just seen Vera. I didn't recognize her. She had a bracelet with the moon on it. It's all blackened now. You'd better think about the baby. It's a miracle that he survived. Oh. You should have a pregnant woman in here too. Marina, how is she? We had only one pregnant victim who was brought in. Unfortunately, she lost the baby. No. Uh, who was she to you? My brother's wife. He died. She wasn't injured severely. She was pushed out to the curb. We're not telling her about the baby right now. She asked about her husband. And she also had a breakdown. We barely saved her. If she finds out that she lost that baby, She'll never survive. That's why we're not telling her right now. We'll wait. Can I see her? I'll just be near. Let me do it, please. Please. Well, that's all right. Fine. Hello. Ivan? What about Igor? Ivan, they're not bringing the baby. Tell me what's wrong with him. He's my only reason to live. You understand? son. A nice boy. <laughs> Want to hold him? May I? You can. Hello. Hello. My little son. My little boy. I want to name him Igor. I can't imagine why you wouldn't. Hello. Can I be with him? Mm. Yeah. My sweet boy. Oh, my little boy. My little boy. Hey. Hey. Hello, little man. 
Have you thought about what will happen next? You can't just take your baby and give it away to someone. My son lost his mother. And Marina lost her baby. Yes, you understand after all. This is not a question of logic. The baby is not a house or a car. You can't sell it, present it, or give it away. You've made the decision not just for the baby, but for the woman. Can you possibly imagine what happens when she finds out the truth? No, I can't. But if she finds out the truth now, she's never going to survive it. She grew up in an orphanage. She's an orphan. She didn't have anyone in the world besides her husband. If she loses that baby, do the formalities really mean more than a human life? Well, suppose that you're right. Can you really abandon your child so easily? Just give us the certificate. We'll deal with all of it somehow. Doctor, a paper, certificate, is what a human life depends on. And I swear, no one is going to find out the truth. I will help you. Hello? Yes, we've ordered it. Yes. A bus. Uh, hold on. We have three coffins. Two adults and one smaller one. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> That's all right, Grandma. Don't cry. Dad's gonna bring Marina now and deal with it. Do you hear me? <sighs> I'll make tea. Just a minute. Let me help you. <sighs> Marina, dear, please forgive me. <sighs> when I first saw you come in. That's all right. <sighs> Everyone's grieving. It's a terrible thing to bury one's own child. I understand. Although, how can I understand? God forbid you. God forbid you ever experience it. You know my son saved me. If not for him, he's such a little one. It's time for his nap. Listen, Dad, I want to talk to you about something. Not now, sweetheart. It's not the time. I understand. Sh -sh -sh -sh. Come here, come here. Oh, you're such a strong boy, aren't you? Come on. Give him to me, please. When I see him, I just want to embrace him. Oh, don't cry. I'm sorry. It's all right. I imagined how I would take care of my own baby. <laughs> sorry, I'm an egotist. Why? I don't know. I think I'm too cruel. I've just lost my husband, and I don't grieve enough. Marina, 
It's up to God to decide whether it is enough, not for us, but we need to live for the living. You know what? The tension's so heavy here that I wanted to get distracted. Can I stay at your place for a while? Nastya, I won't be able to entertain Misha, you. Misha, just a little while, please. <sighs> Ivan has offered me a job. Actually, with the other baby. I had no other offers, and it's difficult to find a good place. And is it a good place? Yeah. Well, they're decent people. <laughs> and they pay well. It's just there's been enough misfortune to drive anyone mad. That's why I ran to you. Misha. I... I understand how hard No, you don't made. understand anything, Nastya. You don't understand anything at all. I needed to help Vera, and I didn't. She never got to forgive me, and I will never forgive myself. Not ever. I'm sure she would have forgiven you. Misha, she's already forgiven you. She's looking down from heaven. She's not looking down from anywhere, and that's because she's not dead. I would feel it, and I can feel that she's alive. Misha. Alive. Forgive me, please. I came for an hour and stayed for the night. But you felt so bad yesterday. And I'm your friend. <sighs> Do you want me to come to the house? You know, I'll make us some coffee, all right? Misha! be able to find music for any situation. For fun times, a thousand tracks. For sadness, another couple thousand. But now not a single note. My darling, 
Grandma. <sighs> That's awful. So painful. <gasps> yes. <laughs> it's bad and painful. You cry, dear. <laughs> you cry, baby. It helps. <laughs> With my passport? Very well. Thank you. Was it urgent? It was the hospital calling. They need to drop some documents because we're from another city. Mm. They want me to come today. I'll drive you then. I have things to do in the city. Shh. We'll have to take Igor with us. Why take such a little baby? I'll sit with him if you wish. And Alyssa will walk him, right, granddaughter? Yes, granddaughter. Oh, no, well. No, I can't. Well, I can babysit Igor on my own. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hush, hush. <laughs> These hands held so many kids. Seems like yesterday Vera lied here just like you, right? <laughs> Oh, your cheekbones are so much like Vera's. <laughs> oh, he looks so much like Vera when she was this little. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Nessa, what makes you think he looks like her? Oh, I'm sorry, Ivan. I just... It's just... It's just... It's just that I... <laughs> All right, Grandma, stop crying, please. <laughs> Hello. What do you need, sir? I have a question. It's a request. I don't know how to put it. Sir, hurry up. Don't waste my time. All right. I... I'm a relative of a woman who was in an accident recently. I want you to show me her body. I need to make sure that it's her. The deceased was your... A friend. Impossible. That information's not available to third parties. What third parties? I'm more than a relative to her. What what proof do you need for this? Sir, let's not make a scene. This is a hospital. Can you tone it down? These are the rules. I didn't invent them. Can't you understand anything You're at all? You're in the hospital. Can you tone it Isha, down? Isha, what's going on? Marina, you have to help me. You were in that accident. Tell them to show me Vera's body. Misha, listen... Why do you need Vera's body? What do you want? I don't believe that she's dead. Misha, I was there. I saw all that terror. You can't help Vera anymore. Why can't I help her? What are you saying? Maybe I can help her now. That's because she might be alive. I'm trying to explain Vera that. Vera is dead. Why are you torturing yourself? Marina. I've known Vera since school. I know her better than anyone does. I can feel that she's not dead. Do you understand? Oh God, I don't believe this is happening either. It still seems that Igor is about to arrive. Misha, it has been way too little time since it happened. You understand? I understand. I understand everything. Vanessa, listen, my dear. You should get some rest. You've been up on your feet for the entire week. Go get some rest. Ivan, darling. Thank you, Ivan. Mm. Actually, I can barely stand. Mm -hmm. You go, too. Come on, let's go. We should get some rest. I'll clean this up tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Need some help? Not anymore.
Alyssa, you had better cry. What for? I won't bring my mom back. No, of course not. It's fate. What is fate? What now? You need to live for the living. That's what your dad told me. It's hard to understand now, but I believe, and believing is important. <sighs> believe your heart, think with your head. Thank you, Marina. It's just... I feel so sorry for Grandma. As for Dad... To be honest, I think he really hates me for that time with Mom. Oh, don't say that. How can a father possibly hate his own child? You didn't come to the funeral or to the wake. A drink? Pour it. Let's drink. But I won't say rest in peace. What's that? Nothing. It's all a farce. And Vera's alive. That's what, Ivan. Misha, I understand. We're all very upset. We're all not ourselves. And you knew Vera since childhood. Come on, no clinking. Hello. Hello. You didn't tell me you were coming today. That's all right. Look, I wanted to ask you to move in on a more permanent basis, Kostya. What for? Listen, I have neither the time or the wherewithal to deal with this right now. Wait, but what about all the finance and, and loan agreements? You do all of that stuff. No, I can't. I want to ask you to take care of the business. Help me out a little bit. All right, whatever you say, but I'll need the power of attorney. No problem. We'll give you the power of attorney. You know, Kostya, it feels like I'm a hamster on a wheel. I got twisted and turned around and back again. Maybe you need a drink, Ivan, huh? <laughs> Come on. All right, well, can I count on you? Yeah, yeah, you can totally count on me, man. Why do I have to hide from my own father? Kostya, let's tell him everything. How long are we going to play hide and seek? You need me now. By your side. And not in secret. My darling. Why should we hurry? I mean, look at the, the emotional state that he's in. If we tell him everything, he'll hardly be happy. We'll tell him when he comes down, okay? Yeah? Mm. That's when we'll tell him. That's when we'll tell him. We'll tell him, uh, we'll tell him everything. <sighs> so, uh... <sighs> you know, Kostya, before they took my mom to the hospital, we had a fight. Mm -hmm. I never told her that I was really sorry about it. You see, Alyssa, the feeling of guilt is a very complicated thing. You don't need advisors here. I, uh, I can't help you here. You're gonna need to deal with this on your own, huh? So... How are you? I registered everything. Let's go for a walk. Just to cheer up, I called Anessa. She said that she just put Igor down for a nap. 
Yes, I could really use some fresh air, you're right. Marina, I hadn't found the courage, but I'll need to do this now. It's a letter. From Igor. And he asked me to give it to you when he was gone. Read it. Why didn't he tell me? You were already expecting the baby. He didn't want you to worry. He loved you very much. How can I live? You just live and raise your son. <sighs> Let's live together. Really, why not? It'll be a lot easier to raise the boy. <laughs> Will you stay? I'll stay for a while and then we'll see. Mm -hmm. How do you like this one? Too simple, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, that's not good. That one isn't quite right. This isn't right either. Nothing works. <sighs> Nobody cares about me. Dad's off, nursing Marina and Igor. Grandma's deep in her grief now. She's not noticing anyone. Even her own granddaughter. <laughs> I remember. This dress will stun everyone. Look at this. So then? Yes. That's the one. That's it. Thank you. Hugs and kisses. Love you. That's it. I've got my last present from Igor. The money is in my account. Now I can deal with buying a new flat. Igor took good care of you. Listen. I've been thinking, what if you don't move anywhere? Well, stay here and live with us. <laughs> Ivan, thank you very much for your care, but I don't want to abuse your hospitality forever. You can with no time limit whatsoever. It's all right. Well, Igor told me to take care of you. I'm doing my best. No, however good I feel at your place, I need my own home. Will it be easier for you if I say that this is your home too? Honey, my love, the whole evening tomorrow's gonna be yours. <laughs> but... What's wrong with you, huh? Don't you know how to knock? I have to knock on your door now? What is it? Nobody cares about me. Alyssa, Nobody at all. Alyssa, wait, wait, stop, stop. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Calm down, tell me. Hmm? Well, let's have it. What is it that happened? Calm down, tell me. Nothing at all happened. I just feel bad, and I'm looking for support. But everyone's just going about their business. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? No, 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 it's on, just as we agreed, tomorrow at 11. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's it, that's it, agreed, goodbye. Oh. Uh, so, what were you saying just now? You used to not pick up when I was in the same room with you. Well, the times have changed. Your father stepped down and left everything to me. Maybe we should break up since you have so much work. Yeah, let's break up. Well, maybe you're right. We actually uh, need to calm down, take a break from what? each other, maybe. Take a break from each other? Are you tired of me? Uh, hold on. Uh, I, uh, look, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. It's better to take a break. 
than to break up for good. It's a very difficult period now. I thought we'd go through this difficult period together. But if you think differently, well... <clears throat> Thanks for your support. Have you seen her? Oh, poor devil, you're still coming here. No one has seen your loved one. No one's seen her. It's time to accept it, honey. She's gone, and that's it. Oh, poor devil. Oh, the poor devil. He's come here every day for two months, as if he could bring her back. What's he to do now? Such is life. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you here for me? Of course, I need to talk to you. That's if you're not busy. Hmm. Well, actually, I am a little busy. We wanted to record a couple of tricks. Yeah? All right. I won't bother you then. <sighs> hey, finish without me. All right, bye. They'll film without me. You see, I don't need the YouTube fame. Well, actually, YouTube fame never hurt anybody. You should record your video later. I don't want to deprive your fans of another masterpiece. <laughs> it's all right. They'll <laughs> wait. Did you want something? I just wanted to talk. You know, I never thought that I would miss the joy of simple human, I don't know, conversation. Simple, did you say? Well, well I yeah. can do that. <laughs> There's a... New cafe here, by the way. They even make your favorite Napoleon. Let's go. Then. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. go. <laughs> Take it easy. Come to me, sweetheart. Hello. Come on. Hello, hello, hello. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Uh Oh, good wow. boy. Today I'm lucky. Catching you here. <sighs> Misha. Why is it I can never find you at your workplace, huh? You have things to do? Yes, I do. Hmm. Personal, I guess. Yeah, it's personal. And these things are more important than work, apparently. More important than work. By the way, I've been looking for Vera. You and everyone else were quick to forget about her. What have you been doing? Are you a fool? Why are you messing with my family, huh? Have you nothing to do? Vera is dead, okay? Get it? Just accept it. And look how very quickly and easily you accepted it, Ivan. And do you know why? Because your marriage has long been fiction. I understand. You found consolation in Marina and the baby. It's as if you never even had a family before. If I come here again during work time and don't find you here, I'll forget the university and fire you. You understand? Alyssa, stay. We need to have a talk. Honestly, I really don't feel the need. Alyssa, how much can you do? We live under the same roof and don't talk to each other. The same roof is the problem. I think you've been here for too long. Are you going to stay forever now? 
Why are you behaving like a child? Aren't you ashamed? Well, you're not ashamed of living in this house. Don't you think that the problem started when you got here, Marina? What are you talking about? What I'm saying is what everyone's thinking, but no one ever says to you. Understand? What's going on, Alyssa? What does it look like, Daddy dear? Have you thought at all about how your loved ones feel? Nobody thinks about my feelings. Who doesn't? My own father, for instance. Oh, and by the way, I lost to my mother. You know, it would have been better if Marina died instead of Mom. What are you saying, sweetheart? I'm saying the truth, do you understand? You're nursing her and her kid as if it was your baby. Are you just gonna throw me away? Out of my way. Get it? Thank Here. you. You can't see her now. She just fell asleep. What happened? She has a mild concussion and an ankle dislocation. Lady, please, I'm her father. Please uh, let me in. I'm not going to leave here anyway. Mm. Mm. All right, then. Don't stay too long. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. My darling daughter, forgive me. Your father really loves you so much. His beautiful daughter. Hello. I'm not too late. May I? Of course. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Misha, what happened? Nothing, I guess. Nothing will happen now. Can you explain it to me? Explain it? Sure. Everything's bad. All my... Two months of searching was useless. I've searched every corner. I've interviewed all the witnesses. I even found the transit drivers. Got their addresses from road police. And today I've suddenly realized it's all been in vain. Misha, you've done everything you could. Why blame yourself? It's not your fault. Uh, what do I do now, Nastia? What do I do now? For now? For now. Love each other and raise children. Enjoy life. Misha. Nastia, I'm tired. I'm so tired. We have to move on somehow. We will live. How is she? Mild concussion, that's all. 
and a dislocated ankle. What is the matter with this family? I don't understand. It's absurd. Am I paying a debt? I wish I knew to whom. It's difficult for her now. We need to surround her with love and caring. I don't think it's going to be easy. Not easy at all. I need to get her trust back. I'll do my best. Thank you, Marina. You're very kind. Doctor? Is this an earthly hospital, or am I already, uh, dead? You're still on Earth. Oof. What's bothering you? It hurts. Getting to heaven takes more than a mild concussion and a dislocated ankle. You mean I got off easy? Easier than ever. So then can I go home now? You can, but in a wheelchair or some crutches. You would need to stay off it. I'll prescribe you something to help you with the pain. Oh, and the baby's all right, too. What baby is that? <laughs> did, I, did I manage to hit a baby, too, or what? Don't you know about it? You're five weeks pregnant. Hello, let me help you. No need. I'll go. Let's go upstairs. I've prepared everything. What exactly? Well, I've raised your bed to make it more comfortable. My bed was all right before. You shouldn't have. Hello, Misha. Hello. Can I get a ride to the shop? <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to town, too. I need to buy something, some tools. I was going to my parents for the weekend. I haven't seen them in a while. Were you on your way now? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? That's great. I didn't know they lived so close to here. Well, it's not that far away, but... There are some beautiful places there. The river. But there are no... No buses, no trains go there, so I'm going to hitchhike there. Why hitchhike? Let me drive you. It's really not that far. Really? Well, sure, of course. Look, well, <laughs> you're really my hero. <laughs> I told you I don't need your help. I'll help you anyway. <sighs> Hold on. So I've made you some dinner. Your favorite fish soup and cutlets. How do you know that? Well, it wasn't hard to guess. Just an observation. That's strange. My mom never cooked anything specially just for me. I guess she didn't even know what I uh, like to eat. That's not true. Mom knows everything. New. 
I'll go get your dinner. I'm getting tired, Nastia. Could we stop somewhere and rest a little? Here is the river. You want to take a walk? Come on. Come on, come on. Good afternoon. What's the name of this river? Hi there. Can we talk? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry, I wanted to ask. I was wondering where the lady is from. What lady? Who are you talking about? Well, the one who's living here. We've seen her at the riverbank, and she's come here to you. <sighs> what does it mean to you? She is my daughter. Daughter? That's right. My daughter. My only daughter. How long has she lived here? Well, for a while. It's been about two months. She divorced her husband and came here right after. Why are you asking? I'm sorry. I noticed that she's a little out of sorts. Her husband was a drug addict. He would brutally beat her. So she lost her head a bit. She's also lost her memory. What's her name? Your daughter. Nina. Nina? Uh-huh. Nina Vasilyeva. Please forgive me for bothering you. That's all right. In joy and sorrow. How do people walk on these things? Exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can run on them. Oh! You know, Mappy, I didn't know that you were really such a, well, such skater. <laughs> At the university, you're always so quiet, like a nerd. A nerd? Me a nerd? <laughs> Why a nerd right away? <gasps> Alyssa, I'm just a good student. Well, you know, if you weren't like that in principle, I wouldn't have paid attention to you. You're funny. Well, and smart. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 <sighs> Does it hurt? <laughs> now I need you even more. Excuse me? Well, you'll be teaching me how to skate, and I'll be skating around with one foot on the board, uh, and pushing off with a crutch. You know, Alyssa, mm. um, I look at the girls, well, at beautiful girls. Part two. They're always pretending to be someone they aren't. And, and, and you're so... I'm so... So carefree. Well, thanks for calling me beautiful. Though I didn't know that you thought so. Are you sick? Yes, Matvi, you should go. I don't want you to see this. Now go. Ask Marina to come. Yeah, okay. <sighs> well, you've scared everyone. <clears throat> Matvi came running with panic in his eyes. He's a good guy. Yes, and he's so in love with you. <laughs> he has been for a long time. <laughs> Can I ask you something? What's up with Kostya? There's nothing there at all. 
I don't understand how it happened in the first place. Are you sick again? You should see a doctor. It's not normal. It might be residual effects of the concussion. <sighs> the residual effect is that I'm five weeks pregnant, according to the doctor. That's completely different. Is Kostya the father? There's no one else. Only, don't tell my dad. Don't worry, I won't tell him. I promise to help you. <laughs> Thanks for that. By the way, speaking of help, it's time to bathe Igor. Shall we? Yeah, there's an idea. How can I help? With a crutch? I only need one of your hands. <sighs> Okay. Come on. All right. You like the warm water? Yeah. Come here. Alyssa, hold him. I'll get ah. the towel. Oh, what a big boy you are. What a life you have, huh, brother? They bathe you, they wash you, they wipe you. And all because you're such a handsome boy, right? <laughs> I'm ready. Marina, have you noticed? Igor's eyes are exactly like my mother's. I don't know, I don't remember. No, really, I'll show you a photo. You'll see, it's true. Here, take a look. Such huge eyes. Oh, Dad, look how much Igor looks like my mother. Look, sweetheart. Could you not use that cell phone? Well, at least when you bathe the baby. Ivan? Hmm. What makes you think he does? Ivan. That's true, he does. Why are we crying? What happened? Alyssa, it's okay that you see your mom in people's faces. I see Igor in my son's features too, right? Well, okay, I might have said something wrong, huh? I'll go back up to my room now. Nastia, you don't understand. Everything makes sense now. It all adds up. It all adds up. The date, and the old lady said that she showed up here two months ago? And how did she get here from where the accident happened, Misha? Nastya, who could know that? After the crash, she came to, went where the road took her. She went to the river and came across the house, that's all. Does it matter that the old lady says she's her daughter? Well, she's lying. Lying. Why would she tell a stranger about her personal life? Maybe she's afraid. Sure, she's afraid. She's afraid of being exposed. Tomorrow I'll go and find out. <sighs> you know what, Misha? It's her husband's business. Tomorrow you'll call Ivan and tell him everything. Let him deal with it. Oh, no, Nastya, this is my business. I was looking for her and I found her. That's simple. Alyssa? Yeah? Your dad and I are going shopping. Will you look after Igor? Sure, of course I will. Thank you, dear. I promise you won't have time to get tired. Some practice won't hurt. Practice? Are you trying to teach me how to communicate with small children? Well, why wouldn't I? I don't think it'll hurt you. I'm not going to have this baby. <sighs> Alyssa, what are you saying? What I just said. As soon as my leg is better, I'll go to a clinic for an abortion. One day and it's all over with. It's not like anyone will even notice I'm gone. Marina, you know that nobody cares about me. My mom didn't love me. Kostya dumped me. Dad has you and Igor. Well, why should I have this kid? Alyssa, you're wrong. When your mother got pregnant with you, she came to Igor and me, and she was glowing with joy. Everything will be fine. We're on your side. Both your dad and I. If she is your daughter, There must be some photos of her as a baby, not as an adult. I don't know any photos. Do you have photos? Do you have a photo album? Of course, uh, of course I do. Both the photo album and photos. I have both. Show me. Come on now. <sighs> 
They're not here. Where then? I forgot. I don't remember. I'm so old already. No memory whatsoever. Why are you telling me lies, huh? She's not your daughter. In fact, I don't understand what's going on. Why do you hold her here? What is this? I am not holding her here. There, you've confessed everything. I can't understand. How you could have come up with this crazy plan? How? How? Life is no bed of roses. I live here on my own. It's been 30 years since my husband died. I wasn't blessed to have my own. Sometimes I feel so lonely. I feel sick of life itself. And here she is. Nina. Vera. Her real name is Vera. Well, I started to call her Nina. It was good for us. My new life was just beginning. I thought it would be forever. And then you came to make it hard. When did she arrive here? Can you say for certain, when was it? Trinity Sunday. It was very hot. I got a sign right before that. When is Trinity Sunday? In early June, I think. That's when the accident happened. Early June. <sighs> I would like to speak with you. Well, don't you want to know who you are? Where you're from? What happened to you? Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, you are a terrible man. Why are you bothering the poor girl? She's not going anywhere with you. You see? You scared her. My dear Nina, you get out of here. Go away. Go away. Hello? Matt V, you brought bagels? Um, yeah. With poppy seeds, cinnamon, and, and my idea with apples. Well, I'll put them to bed now. No, 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 no. And then we'll eat all of them. All of them at once? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't seen you like this before. Well, it's just, um, well, I'm just stressed out. My leg hurts, and I'm looking after the baby. It's a big responsibility. That's responsibility? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like it's just diapers and feeding, that's all. You should change a diaper in your head. Despite the fact that he's so small, he's already a personality, aren't you, Igor? Yes, that's it. We're tired. We don't want anything, do we? You act like you're his yeah. mother, Alyssa. Well, I mean, I meant to say that you'll be a great mom. And a wife, I guess. Yeah, well, I think you should go now. Get out now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> goodbye. Say goodbye. Say bye. <sighs> And I believe that she was alive. And I found her. Well, you can't take her away from this lady by force. Well, what do you suggest? <laughs> well, she's not chained up in there, is she now? I don't know. Go to the police. File a report. Let them deal with it. What kind of police? Who will deal so with this? So what do you suggest then? Maybe you want to take her? Why take her, Nastia? We should free her. <sighs> You're out of your mind. Eat this, Nina, dear. Help yourself. Look here. There are tomatoes. Cabbage. The salad is delicious. There's fresh meat patties, okay? Okay? You have to eat. Or you'll just get weak, my dear. I don't want it. <gasps> that villain. 
He's discombobulated you, girl. And what for? Anyway, poor girl, you have no memory. I will take you into the city, to the hospital, and let them take some tests and see what the results say. They might find something. Can you find anything? In memories? Even if they don't, at least they'll prescribe some pills for depression. It's better than just living and grieving without memories. Do you understand what you'll face? Charges. <sighs> this old lady will file a claim against you and you'll be making excuses to the prosecutor explaining to him that this woman looks like Vera. What should I do? No. We should be going. Then we'll think all this through and everything will be fine. I can't bear losing her again. I think he has a fever. Now don't panic. Yes, he's a little hot. I'll call a doctor, okay? What kind of doctor? How long will it take? I'll call an ambulance. No, don't call them. They'll take him to a hospital. Why do you think they'll do that? Well, because when an ambulance comes and a child has a fever, they take him to a hospital. <sighs> just listen. Please, let's just go to our clinic. All right, calm down, please. We'll do everything you want, Marina. I'll go get the car ready. Get ready to go. Excuse me, where is Dr. Potenko? It's just that he treated us before. He worked until 6. In the evening, there's only a duty doctor. That's me. Well, if you'd rather, you can come tomorrow at 8 in the morning. No, it's not a matter of trust. It's just that he already knows us. You'd better fill me in on the hereditary background. What do you mean by that? Well, diseases, of course. Chronic ones. An allergy, for example. Oh, no. Nothing special. What about pollen? Uh, no. But it says here, he's pollen sensitive. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, well, uh, Igor had an allergy to pollen when he was small. We even made fun of Igor back then, saying that it was impossible to be next to him during pollen season. He would sneeze all over you. And I noticed that you were allergic. No, Marina, you're confusing everything. Well, Igor sneezed nonstop, you know? <laughs> I just know him a little bit better. He had an allergy. <sighs> okay. And and what else? Everything's just fine. What's the last thing you remember? Faces. But I don't remember names. Your face is very familiar. It should be. We've known each other most of our lives. In what way? Don't worry. I'll tell you. Later. Later. Okay. You scared your mom today. <sighs> He's cutting two more teeth. I think we'll have our hands full. I'm sorry. I freaked out today. It's okay. A normal mother's reaction. It's just been such a day. It's been exactly two months. Well, that's already passed. Now we have to look ahead. Look at what a strong boy we have. Thank you so much, Ivan. Sometimes memory will return to a person if they don't resist. 
You're not going to resist, right? Don't you, don't you want to know who you really are? Misha, please, keep your eyes on the road. I want to. I feel sick, and I don't know why. Can I get some sleep? I'm tired. Of course, there's enough room. Lie down, lie down. You know this is total nonsense. Why nonsense? Is it nonsense that I want to return her old life to her? Is that it? She has a completely different life now. And you've broken into it. And you're destroying it. Do you really want to tell her everything right away, Misha? What do you suggest? Not tell her? It's not your concern. I wonder then, whose concern is it? Doctors. Or her relatives. With the relatives that she has, I'm better. I'm very happy. But I'm a little scared. Of what? Some vague fear of the future. Mm. Is there one? What will it be? The future is coming regardless. Where it takes us, God only knows. But it'll still come and put everything in its proper place. Mr. Don't call me Mr. We've known each other a thousand years. Who are you? We've been friends since childhood. I even asked you to marry me. You're my husband? No. You fell in love with another man and married him instead. So I have a family? Do I have any children? At any rate, you had... everything. Where are they now? I don't know. You moved somewhere, and I lost track. Alyssa, you're going to drive yourself to exhaustion. Marina... What kind of exhaustion? A nervous one. Do you think you're feeling this bad for no reason? Well, it's obviously for a reason. Nerves, I mean, I'm pregnant. What should I do, not be nervous? Well, that'd be great. Although this won't help. Well, there isn't anything that can help me. Look at me. Talk to your dad. And get in even more trouble. Why are you talking like that? He has always been on your side. Alyssa, he's your father, and he has the right to know. The benefits of this are doubtful, with the harm being obvious. You'll just worry him in vain. But why are you so doubtful? Marina, this chat is over, and I'm able to handle this myself, thanks. On that point, you're wrong. One fight is not a reason to end the relationship. I'll tell you again. 
Tell your father about it, and he'll talk to him. Besides, they're friends and business partners. Your father will understand you, believe me. What are you doing? What do you mean? What's up with my daughter? Uh, well, since you already know everything... Of course I know it! Ivan, I, I resisted as best I could. Mm, Boo-hoo! Poor innocent guy! You didn't resist very long, did you? Ivan, Ivan, calm down, alright? Calm down, Ivan. I resisted for a long time just because she's your daughter. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to worry, Ivan. We broke up. It's over. It's over between us. Yeah. Now I'm calming down. Misha! Hi there! I wanted to know if our... evening plan is still on? I'm sorry, I'm busy. You're busy? With what? Uh, you're waiting for Vera to come to her senses. Nastya, I am so very sorry. But besides Vera, I don't need anyone. I've always loved her. Sorry. But she's never loved you. And she's never going to. What are you saying? What am I saying? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> when Vera regains herself, she'll remember her family. Which you have nothing at all to do with. Who are you to them but an employee, a farmer, in love with a lady? I've already decided. I'll take Vera, I'll quit, we'll leave, and all this will remain in the past. You know what? You're behaving just like that woman by the river. Even worse. Do you understand that Vera should be returned to her family? Family? Who conveniently forgot about her and wiped her out of their lives? Only a very cold person can't see that Ivan doesn't love Vera. A very cold person? Hi. Hi. Would you like some lunch? No, thank you. What's the matter? Nothing special. Just some problems at work. Ivan, I don't understand. Yesterday, I heard your conversation with Alyssa. I went to the office. What for? To sort it out. With my friend and business partner. To sort it out? You went to sort what out? To sort out the issue concerning you, Pumpkin. What? Who asked you to? Why did you do that? Alyssa, I am... What are you? You're looking out for me? Don't you interfere in my life. I don't need a nanny. This just <sighs> happens to be my business partner, young lady. Not only is this so-called business partner doing some extremely shady things behind my back, he's gotten involved <clears throat> with my daughter. That's what. Calm down, Ivan. And you're suggesting to me that I should take it easy? That's not an excuse to interfere in my personal life. Do you get that? I'm already grown up, and I'll handle it myself. Alyssa. And don't come after me. This topic is closed. Ivan, sit down. <clears throat> Ivan. <sighs> well, look, Alyssa's right. You shouldn't interfere with her personal life until she asks you to herself. I understand that she'll always be a child to you. Let's have lunch, hmm? Hello there. Hello to you. Looking for Misha? He's not home. No, I'm here for you. I wanted to know how you've been doing. Okay, pretty good. Misha is so caring, attentive, and helps me with everything. Yes, he is. A very caring person. And... How's your memory coming back yet? No, not quite yet. 
Even photographs don't help. What photographs? Mine and Misha's, when we were young. But I can't remember where and when. You're sick? Mm, no, no, no. I just felt a bit dizzy. Do you remember your family? No. I have some photographs. What photographs? They're yours. Wedding pictures. Come in. Hello. Hello. I was walking nearby and decided to stop by to visit Alyssa. You did exactly the right thing. Can I see her? Mm -hmm. Go on, she's upstairs. Okay. Who's that? Matvi. A very good boy, and in love with our Alyssa. Oh. They're all very good boys. Up to a certain time. <sighs> when they fall in love with our Alyssa. Hmm. Matvi is a whole different story. He's well-educated, sensitive, from a very good family. Well, at least someone was lucky. He has a good family. I didn't save my family. Not my wife, my daughter, no one. Please, what are you saying? What I'm thinking. Will you have a family? Alyssa, me, Igor, Inessa? Do you really think so? Well, of course. Alyssa, hi there. Hello, I said. What's the matter, Alyssa? Alyssa. Alyssa, it's me. You can trust me if... If something happened, then tell me. You won't tell anyone? Of course I won't. It's just that... I fell in love with somebody and... Uh, and he dumped me. Who is it, if it's not a secret? Kostya. He works with my father. Well, I get it. <laughs> Alyssa. Don't get me wrong, but he's a complete idiot to dump you. Do you really think so? I do. Right. Okay, I, uh, I have to go. I have something to do. But I'll drop by later. Text me and uh, I'll buy you something delicious. Bye. Vera? Vera! You bastard! <coughs> <coughs> You'll pay for what you did to Alyssa, is that clear? You have to bulk up a little first, kiddo. Don't butt into other people's business. <clears throat> What's more, boy, you're lucky that I'm nice today. Otherwise, you would leave here with your arms and legs broken. Come on, yeah, get listen out. to me. I'll get to you anyway. You hear me? I'll get to you. You'll be apologizing to Alyssa on your knees, got it? Don't punk. Oh, look who's calling me. You meant to call your new girlfriend, but you've made a mistake. You've reached your ex. Please, why are you talking to me like that? Hmm? The manner is most suitable for my next question. Why did you tell my father that you broke up with me? 
He didn't know we'd been together in the first place. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Why the hell did you tell the whole city about us? Your father broke in here today and he was furious with me. Yeah, it's a shame he didn't bash your face in. Well, I doubt he could. I have a black belt. <laughs> he has a boxing title. <sighs> the truth is, is that I left you when I saw you with your new girlfriend. So I'm not seeking your company anymore, and now you can please her with a clear conscience. Look, honey, your taunts haven't worked on me for years now, babe. I don't care whether it was you. What's the difference? We broke up. And I'm not going to have a little fight with your father. He's my boss. Do you know who you are after that? You're a bastard. Did you all agree on that or what? Did you have a group rehearsal? What do you mean, rehearsal? Your young admirer came to see me today and tried to challenge me to a duel. He failed. He's not strong enough. He called me a bastard, too. I'm sick of your dumb games already. Go to hell, then. Hello? Hello? Th these children! Over there. Let's have a seat over here. They should come soon. Your family, that is. They usually walk around here with the baby. With the baby? Yes. With the baby. How will I know them? You will for sure. And if not, they'll recognize you. I should go. Stay. I can't do it alone. Ta-da! Where have you been? Well, um, I had to see someone. Ah, and how's this someone? Well, so-so. Matvey, why did you go there? Who asked you to? He could have really hurt you, okay? How do you know? I know everything, and I always will. I didn't tell you that so you'd run around and stand up for me. I don't need any protectors. What, did I do it wrong again? Yes, though I was very pleased about it. Alyssa, I really love you. You understand? I can't just stand by and see somebody hurt you. Matty, please don't. Let's not talk about love. I, I'm your friend. You're my friend. We're friends. You understand? That's no, all. No, Alyssa, I'm fed up with it. I can't. Well, I can't just be a friend. I'm sick of it. Well, you'll just have to. Well, why should I? You still love him, don't you? That's not the what point. What is the point, then? Tell me. I'm expecting his baby. How's Vera? She's gone to see Eliza. They need to be alone right now. How are you, buddy? <laughs> I can't quite believe it yet. At all. Mom. You... you have to forgive me, please. I don't have hard feelings, Alyssa. Well, there... there were so many things I said to you, and... I didn't mean any of them. I don't remember that. And I don't blame anyone. Mom, where were you? What took you so long? Well, I don't know where I was. Well, the main thing is that we're together now. Ivan. Vera is alive. It's really a miracle and a blessing. All the rest doesn't matter. The main thing is her memory is coming back. Mm -hmm. Now she knows about the baby. My God. Did you tell her? Yes, I did. 
Marina, I wanted Ivan, to... I understand everything. Your wife's still alive. And we'll deal with the rest later. Looking for me? <sighs> yes. Well, I was fired and need my payment. I can't help you. Ivan deals with that in our family. Hold on, I... I just wanted to say that... <gasps> Hold on. You can't do this. You left, didn't tell me anything. You didn't even leave a note. I was worried. Misha, I returned to my family. I found out that I lost a baby. I don't care about anything now. Your family? Has this family ever cared about you? I'm the only one who was looking for you and believed that you were alive. Ivan forgot about you right away. And do you know why? Enough. Cut out the drama. Speak, but don't yell at me. Hi, Marina. Why are you living in my house? You like my husband? Does the baby often wake you up at night? You have nothing to blame me for. Really? Marina, what are you doing? Ivan, I'm leaving. And why is that? I don't want to wreck a family. Hold on. What family, Marina? Hmm? If Vera hadn't gotten pregnant, we would have split up a year ago. You know that, don't you? Ivan, I'm really grateful to you, but... come to this I don't know you don't know so am I to blame a bad mother have I destroyed our family <sighs> lost our love Vera don't blame yourself we we're both to blame there's enough blame to go around I want to leave. Where to? You can't escape yourself. I don't know yet. I can't stay here. I've never felt so bad. That's a picture from my childhood. You there making my bed? <laughs> I remember that, too. There's something I want to ask. I've decided to move to Grandma's. Come with me? Of course I will. Listen, Mom, I have to talk to you. The truth is, I'm having a baby. Mom, why are you looking at me like that? Please say something. Mom, on the plus side, you'll be the youngest grandmother in the world. <laughs> 
Just imagine if he or she were to look like you. For example, Igor has eyes that look just like yours. It was kind of scary. Vera, dear, what do you think you're doing? Where did you get this idea from? It simply cannot be. Think about what you're doing. Alyssa, you said the child had my eyes, didn't you? Mom, but I didn't mean that literally. Huh? Well, Vera, dear, well, it happens with people. Alyssa has grieved so much for you. Well, anything can seem right because of grief. I just know that's my child. And I'll prove it. Thank God medicine can help. Do you suspect any of your relatives? They aren't strangers, you know. Your husband? He has been pampering you for so many years, catering to your every whim. Marina? You're like siblings, aren't you? <laughs> siblings? They're like siblings to each other now. For some reason, I noticed they weren't so happy about the fact that I was still alive. I don't understand. I thought you were on my side. Mom, don't be like that. We're always going to be on your side. My darling, well, just think it was such a tragedy for us too. We suffered so much. I want to ask you for one thing. Don't shoot from the hip. Do everything with a cool head. All right? Hello there. Hello. May I come in? Yes. I didn't expect you to come. I need to ask for your help, Misha. Of course. Thank you for the information. Everything is clear. Well, you're welcome. Good luck to you. Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> Hello, Ivan. I have some very bad news. Give me my son. Marina, you're tired. You should go to bed. You can take Igor with you. I'll sit here with him. Ivan, I'm afraid that Vera will come and take Igor from me. No. Try not to overreact. It's easy to understand Vera, too. She's gone through so much that I can't wrap my head around it. You and Igor will be fine. I promise you that. Mm. I still have the key. Misha, can I leave my things here? I have to leave town for a couple of days. I was offered a job. I'll come and get them later.
You shouldn't blame me. I did everything right. And if you choose to think that you can live a lie and wait for Vera's memory to come back, then you are totally wrong. Well, you did what you did. Why talk about this now? Bishop. My darling, I love you so much. If you did, you wouldn't have done that. And if you loved me, you wouldn't be doing this to me now. But you've never loved me. True, you didn't promise anything. But it doesn't hurt less. Hello. Hello. Grandma's asleep. Come with me. I wanted to talk to your mom. Not here. She's been out since this morning. Grandma's down with high blood pressure. Generally, everything's normal. Fun. Well, yes. You want some tea? How are you? I don't know. I'm confused. Who's right? Who's to blame? And in fact, what's better for whom? Sweetheart, I'm confused myself. I don't know what to do. Dad, I'm not judging you. Well, maybe just a little bit. You and Mom were like a volcano, and Marina well, she's always so homey, comfortable, and just kind of right. Mom's in a difficult place. She's just come back to her family, and there's no family. I don't know, I, I tried to sit and talk to her, but she doesn't want to listen to me. Thank you so much for understanding. And I'm sorry that you had to grow up so quickly. It's my fault. That's okay. I've stayed a teenager for too long. <clears throat> Daddy's really devoted to... His beautiful, sweet little daughter. <clears throat> You can start looking for a new job. I'm selling the stable. Then can I buy it from you? Business has been great recently. I would rather burn it down than sell it to you. Ivan, you should think about it. Business is business. Don't you care who's going to take over the company? Exactly. I do. Therefore, in three days, I don't want to see you here. Vera. Vera, wait up. I went to see you and... Uh, I wanted to talk. Let's go somewhere and discuss things quietly. <laughs> quietly? Well, yeah. Well, I've come to talk too. But I want Marina to hear it. 
Will you open the door? Or should I look for keys in my bag? Mm-hmm. New curtains, I see. Now go on. Call your Marina. There, there. Marina, dear! Vera, what's wrong with you? Should I remind you? I was in a car crash. My family buried me six feet underground and forgot about me the next minute. Then that one had the nerve to take my baby away from me. Don't call her that one. Oh, good afternoon, Marina. You want to discuss something with me? There's nothing to discuss with you. I simply want to inform you. Tomorrow at 10, you'll be at this address with Ivan and the baby. To the airport? Just try to leave town with my baby. Vera, I have no idea what this is. I did not call a taxi. <sighs> no, no. The operator got confused. I said the city. <laughs> Alyssa? Alyssa, open up. Alyssa, please open up. We need to talk, okay? I want to apologize. Alyssa, open the door, please. Well, I just wanted to see it with my own eyes. Will you get down on your knees? I've seen it in the movies. Don't be like that. Enough torturing me. I came here in peace. Well, I was wrong. I'm a fool. Well, I'm sorry. Please, I want to be with you. Well, what, what did you say? Get down on my knees, right? Well, okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay, I'm on my knees, okay? Here. Look. Hello. I'm hoping that you will think positively of my kind proposal. Will you, Alyssa? I'll call you soon. See you out? Yeah, go ahead, man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Kisses, baby. <clears throat> you got it with no prescription? Yeah. How's Mrs. Markovna? <sighs> Sleeping. Come on in. Marina. What are you doing? Where are you going? We're leaving. It's not safe here for Igor or for me, Ivan. Shh, shh, shh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. Wait. What about me? Have you thought about me? If you want, you can come with us. Marina, we'll all go. We'll definitely go. Just give me a little time, will you? I have to sell the business through the paperwork. It takes time. You understand, right? No, I've decided we're leaving. Tomorrow we'll go to the med center. Let Vera get Hold satisfied. Hold on. You, did you really decide to take yes, the test? Yes, of course I did. I understand Vera pretty well. But I'm not going to put Igor in any kind of danger. We'll take the test. I'm confident in their result. You want to stay here? Do whatever you want. That's it. Please. Listen to me. Please listen. Please, now just stay here at home. Tomorrow, I promise you, we'll go to the center. And then we'll leave, we'll leave the city. Just give me two more days, please give me that. And everything will be fine. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> Is it okay if I ask? Why did he come? He asked for forgiveness. He wants to be with me again. What did you decide? Nothing yet. Honestly, that's what I care least about. I should take care of my parents right now. Everyone's just falling apart. 
Matvi, thank you so much for all of your help. You're welcome. I I'm not doing it for your thanks, but from my heart. I know, Matvi. I know. I have to ask, have you considered your decision carefully? The fact is that if you change your mind, it will be impossible to withdraw the complaint. I'm not changing my mind. Where do I sign the documents? At the bottom of every page. <clears throat> Hello, Misha. Misha, don't hang up on me. We need to talk. Hold on now. We have nothing to talk about. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to try and sort out the relationship. I need a favor. Please talk to Vera. You've known each other for so many years. You're friends. It's not about that. What do you want me to tell her? Vera's going ahead with the paternity test. What is it, sweetie? You feel it all, you know it all. It's okay, it'll all be fine. Yes? We'll be living a quiet life. Vera! Vera, wait. <gasps> I know everything. Damn, where are the keys? Why do you need all of this? I know the whole story with the blood test. Do you love Ivan after all or what? So all of this is for revenge on Marina? It's not about Ivan. I want my child back. How do you all not understand that? Hold on. You can't take the child, Vera. I've always been on your side. You know that. But now it's impossible. Let's go away. Let's leave and start all over again. Hold on. We can have children. Like we dreamed. I need to be with my baby. You only think of yourself. I've been waiting for your support for so long. You're afraid to fight with Ivan. Vera, I never stopped looking for you. I wish you had stopped. I believed you were alive. I don't want to see you anymore. Ivan, is something wrong? Why are you so quiet? What should I say? It doesn't fit into my head all that's happening to me. It's like, like some insanity. I'm sure everything will be fine. We'll be flying on a big, big bird soon, Igor. I don't think that's the best decision. No, this is better. When the test results are ready, would you let me know right away? And once you handle your things, come to us. We'll be waiting. Okay. Hello? Yes. Yes, with my baby. The flight's at 3.30. Why is it canceled? No, I don't know. Well, wait, I don't care about the money. I must leave the city. <sighs> yes, well, thank you. Bye. What's going on? My ticket was canceled. Vera filed a claim with the police. I don't get it. On what possible grounds? I don't know. We'll have to wait for the results of the test. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. The door was open and... Uh, and here is humanitarian aid. What is all that? Well, you need vitamins, don't you? Right? And... And I brought something sweet. You know I don't eat after six. I'm kidding, okay? Let's go to the kitchen. 
I'll get it. Is it a good watermelon? A wonderful one. Mm. <laughs> yes, I understand. Come here in an hour and look at the office. Oh, Ivan, I'm just finishing up the report. Here you go. That's wonderful. I just want to remind you that I don't want to see you here effective tomorrow. The report should be finished today. That's that. Mm-hmm. Ivan, we need to talk. If you want to talk about buying me out, that's completely out of the no, question. No, I'd like to discuss another matter. Alyssa isn't just a fling for me. I've proposed to her. If you're against it, I'll, uh, I'll understand. But... I love her. Hold on a second. The buyer is coming here in an hour. Show him the office. Yes, hello? Well, hello. I see the disease is progressing. Yeah. Thank you for keeping my things. I'm leaving. I've found myself a job. I thought you'd help me to take my things there, but since you're in such a condition... Nasya, you were right. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. I live in a fantasy. Misha. My God. What is it? You mean... You mean Vera, yeah? I'm begging you, let's not panic. It was my idea. I'll take full responsibility. Ivan, I'll be looking into it. Don't you understand? I'll be held responsible for everything. Once again, I'm begging you, calm down. I'll try to solve all the problems. You already said that there wouldn't be any problems. So what then? Do you have any idea what I'm facing? I understand. I get it. I really hope you do. I'll do my best. I'll be in touch. I'm so tired. That's OK. Thank God. I'll go a hundred miles from here and forget everything. I want to forget everything too. I want to live. I want to breathe. I don't want to feel pain. Yes, Dad? Alyssa, hello. Is Mom at home? No, she's not home yet. How are you? How's Marina? We're okay, thank you. Listen, would you like me to bring you anything? Medicine, food? No, thanks. Matt V already brought everything, and uh, Grandma's better. Why Matt V? What about Kostya? He, he said you reconciled and are going to get married. What? Alyssa, it's up to you. I don't mind. For your happiness, I'm open to anything. You... I'm even ready to make peace with him and give you the stable as your dowry. Hmm. So you argued then. Okay, Dad, let's just get in touch later. I have some things to do. Uh, uh, Alyssa, wait a second. When Mom comes home, send me a text message. Will you do that for me?
My beauty. Oh, wow, exactly like Pinocchio. And is this the rich one? With all the golden coins? With the same long nose from endlessly lying to people. Alyssa, I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, I've come here for a very good reason, okay? Has poor Pinocchio gone bankrupt? Although, no. Looks like you spent all your coins. Isn't the stone too small for my father's business? Alyssa, I don't know what you're talking about. But I can only tell you one thing. It's that I've realized that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I want to be with you, only Bravo. with you. Bravo. And the Oscar goes to Costia, <laughs> the one who was about to be fired. So that's what you think, yeah? <sighs> you mean to say to me that all of this, it's, it's all just for the business. If you say so, I'll go right now and quit my job. The main thing is that you say yes to me. Alyssa, dear, who's out there? Grandma, they're... Here selling vacuum cleaners, trying their best to talk me into one. But alas, we don't need a vacuum cleaner. You come back tomorrow, as they say. <laughs> Where are you going? To the office. I have to go deal with a few problems there. Look, Alyssa will be right back. I've talked to her. She'll look after Igor, and we'll go to the clinic together to get the test results. Okay, just don't be late. No, I won't. Miss, good morning. Good I'd morning. like to ask a We're favor. We're not open yet. We administer tests starting at 10, and you get the results after 12. Yes, I understand. Uh, could you help me? I really need to have a talk with one of your colleagues that works in the laboratory. That's forbidden. Um, it's of utmost importance. The life and death of a person literally depends on it, and... Uh, Sir, I have dozens of people like you in here every day. Well, you don't understand. This is a special case. It, uh... We don't get other kinds of cases. Come at the appointed time. I can't say anything more. Hello. I knew for sure I would see you here. Vera, we need to talk. Why should we? We'll talk after 12. Fear, it's not Marina. <clears throat> I can't even imagine how I'm gonna be with a baby. He's so tiny. <laughs> That's okay, your maternal instincts will kick in. Does that instinct only apply to women? Men are like children themselves. <laughs> Put this on him if it's cool outside. All right. We'll be back after lunch. Will you find things to do? Yes, of course. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marina, don't hold a grudge against Mom. She meant well. I have no hard feelings. This is my fault. I should have left as soon as we were released from the hospital. Then my dad would be unhappy. Everything is like it should be. Well, all in all, Misha, I've arranged both the apartments. We're expected in two at the same time. They're close to each other, so it won't take long. Okay, well, I've looked at the photos and they seem quite decent. So, oh, by the way, about finding new jobs. As for new jobs, don't worry, because I've searched the internet and there are some really cool local businessmen nearby who keep hounds. You can look after them. What do you think of that? Misha. Nastya. I love the horses. Well, we'll find your horses. They're popular, not a problem. Let's go to the stable for a couple of minutes. I want... 
to say goodbye to my horses. Of course, Misha. Let's go. To say goodbye. Yes? Alyssa, is Igor with you? What is it? What's happening? Mom's calling me nonstop. She sounds mysterious. Okay, then come home as soon as you can. Dad. Dad, what's happening? Uh, nothing. Nothing's happening. Dad, I don't understand anything. Is something wrong with the tests? It's impossible to explain. It just happened and Dad, to be honest, I don't care what's going on there with you all. Don't put the child in the middle of it. Bye. Hello. Hello, Alyssa. Pick up the phone. Yeah, like Where are you when I need you the most? What should we do, Igor? That's okay, let's go, let's go. Shall we go? Marina, hold on. I got a call from the clinic. They have some problems with the equipment, so the results of the tests won't be ready until tomorrow. How come? It's home. That means we have to stay here for another day. Mm-hmm. All right. You want to have lunch? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Martinova, may I have your passport? Your passport. I have a temporary ID. Sign right here. Here you are. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, Alyssa, it's great that you've come here. That's great. Kostya, I don't have anyone else to turn to. Everyone has gone crazy, and I don't know what to do. Well, just sit down for a second. Sit down, okay? Uh, tell me what happened, okay? Tell me. Ivan, why aren't you eating? Well, I have a bad feeling. Look, maybe you were right. We should get going. Pack things up and leave. Well, we decided to wait for the results, didn't we? I don't like this delay with the results. And where is Alyssa anyway? I don't know. My dad calls me. Yeah. So, they mm -hmm. went to take the paternity test, and they messed up something uh -huh. with the test, right? And actually, my mom calls too, and I'm confused. Actually, I'm completely confused. I just don't want it to be like this. It's just that I don't want them to touch him. Look, I don't understand your panic. Let me just drive you home and let the adults sort out what's going on, all right? Come on, let's go, let's go. Kostya! <sighs> what's wrong with you? We have a flight to Prague in three hours. Are we at least going this time? <clears throat> Alyssa, wait, you've misunderstood everything. You Let don't me have to explain anything. That's not good. Hold on, wait, where are you going? 
idiot. Marina, you know what? Pack your bags. We'll go as soon as Alyssa gets back. Well, well all right. Ivan, I was just going to call you. I've picked up the test results. I am begging you, please. Don't do anything stupid. I'll definitely talk to Marina and... We'll give you back the baby. Hello. Hello. Vera. Come here, come here, okay. Good boy. We'll go in a second. We will. Come to me, good boy. Good boy. Alyssa, hello. Sorry, I didn't hear the phone. Did you want something? Matt, where are you when I need you the most? I'm alone in the middle of town with the baby. My parents and Marina, everyone has gone crazy and I just don't know what to do. Okay, Alyssa, calm down, listen to me. Find someplace safe and stay there. Where are you anyway? Please, let's meet up. Where, huh? Okay, at the stable, agreed. Hey guys, take my board. Okay, I'm coming. my son. Help me get him back. Vera, where are you? I'm going to Ivan now. I'm afraid they won't agree to give him to me. You know you can count on me. <laughs> that woman only has to snap her fingers at you and you are right there. Where's Alyssa? I don't know. What is that? The stable's on fire. on fire! Misha? Where's Alyssa? With the baby. <sighs> you 
wait here! Alyssa and Igor are in there! Find Alyssa! Come on! Marina! No, stop! <laughs> My son's no. in there! Misha's in there. Misha! Misha! Enough then. I really want to end all of this. We've come to that point. I want to confess. This... Ivan, why should you confess? I got the results from the test. Marina, I'm sorry. That is your child. You should take care of each other. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 